Hey, good optometry morning. Dr. Michael Nelson, your YouTube eye doctor here, and welcome to Sunday Studies. And today, I'm summarizing a study on the effectiveness of the Zeiss Myovision Pro Lens. So this study was published in 2018 in the Japanese Journal of Ophthalmology. I'll put the link to the study down below, but I'm going to summarize it all for you here today. So the study design looked at 207 kids aged 6 to 12 years old who had at least one parent who was myopic. So these kids either worn a regular spectacle lens or the Zeiss Myovision lens, which is a spectacle lens that's designed to reduce the progression of myopia. Okay, so let's cut right to the chase here. And as this graph shows, this study did not demonstrate that there was any significant effect on myopia progression using the myovision lens compared to a traditional spectacle lens for either the amount of myopia or the axial length. So this certainly was a disappointing result for the Zeiss myovision lens, particularly considering that a previous study had indicated that there was a slight myopic control effect of this lens in kids who had myopic parents. So this lens is based on the peripheral defocus theory, and if you want some more information on that or on more on the myovision lens, I've put a link to a video I've done up here. So one thing we do know is that peripheral defocus contact lenses definitely do have an effect on myopia control. So why is it that the myovision lens doesn't seem to have this effect? So there can be a few reasons for this. So first of all, it could have to do with the movement of your eyes. So basically, peripheral defocus lenses really only work when you're looking through the optical center of the lens. Now, when you're wearing a contact lens, this effect is always in play. However, when you're wearing a spectacle lens, you will be looking through different parts of the lens. And so it's possible that peripheral defocus spectacle lenses just don't have the effect on myopia control that contact lenses do. So another reason could just be the design of the study such that there was not any significant effects of the myopia control. Or thirdly, it simply could be that the Zeiss myovision lens simply isn't effective in myopia control. But either way, the conclusion of this study indicates that there needs to be more study on this and other spectacle lenses that are trying to reduce the progression of myopia. Okay, so if you've even learned one new thing about the Zeiss Myovision lens in this video, make sure you hit the like button down below to let YouTube know the value of this video. And with that, have a great optometry day.